Welcome to the video review of Beast Wars Voyager Class Transkeeto. Now I have to preface this review with just saying that this figure is the only Transformers figure I have ever owned that has just, to be honest, creeped the ever-living hell out of me. I don't particularly like mosquitoes. I don't know anybody that does. But there's just something about this figure that just really creeps me out. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the fact that they nailed the bug mode too well. Maybe it's the fact that the robot mode is just creepy to begin with, but this guy just bugs me in all the wrong, or I'm sorry, bugs is not the right word. It just rubs me in all the wrong ways, and I don't even like looking at this figure. So, yeah. Uh, what even is worse is in when it's, if you've got it dangling or flying, it just looks really, really creepy. Like, like some kind of sci-fi movie gone horribly, horribly wrong. And once again, look at the compound eyes. I will admit, in this mode, it does have some very good detailing. It looks like a mosquito. It even has the missile, which is shot in robot mode. It acts as its, um... Well, you know how mosquitoes are. They suck your blood. So, it's got flapping wings. Uh, it's thorax as well detailed. It just... Ah, uh, this thing just really creeps the hell out of me. Just... I don't know why. In this beast mode, it does have an attack mode, which is equally just as creepy. So the first thing you're going to do is come back here and move the wings all the way forward like this. Then you split the rear of the beast mode apart like that. Full, pull the wings and fold them all the way forward. Oh, and look, it even has its own face back here. Ugh. Unfold the wings to these giant pincer things and then come back here push the little button there and that'll flip that up to be kind of grossly shooting at the sky like you could grab your enemy and then flip him around to suck out all his energon so that's his base attack mode um, again just really creepy so we're going to go from the base attack mode and go into robot mode. The first thing we're going to do is return the wings to their original position. We'll take the split thorax and just fold out the legs from that. And then fold out the feet. Stand the figure up. And fold out the... and kind of fold out the arms. Now, one thing you need to realize about my figure is these the arms peg into these pegs right here. Both of the peg points on the underarms are broken, so it doesn't really hold its arms in very well, and these things just broke. I mean, the first time I used it, I put, I just went to transform them, and they just kind of broke, so the plastic is really weak there. Next, we're going to take the legs and just kind of fold them. Oh, where are they connected? Oh, they're actually connected on the forearms. Fold the arms down, and you're supposed to fold the legs like that, whatever, however you want to do it. Then we'll take the mosquito head and fold that down, then fold the robot head down and just kind of sit it there. It doesn't really lock into place, but you get the idea. And here we have Beast Wars Predacon Transkeeto. And as you can see, Transkeeto is um, really rather menacing. I mean, he does not look like a nice guy. He definitely looks really, really evil. Especially the face. The face... Actually, I'm not sure what the face looks like, but it, it doesn't look pleasant. Uh, you can fire the missile out of his mouth, so... There we go. And this will be... That way I'll be able to give you a better look at his face. Honestly, he looks like some kind of... He looks like the species from um, Star Trek. Species, what was it, 8471, 8274, um, 8.34, something like that. I mean, he just looks nasty. 
And he looks rather vile, too. It just... He doesn't look pleasant. I just... Ugh, he just creeps me out. He... he honest, honest to God, he really... This figure creeps me out in the worst ways. Uh, because of the heft that is... Because of the weight that's on the forearms and in the backpack, it's really hard to pose this guy. I mean, you can, but it's definitely not easy. And you can... You're supposedly supposed to be able to lean the wings around, but they don't lean very well. He's not very poseable, unfortunately, and not that I actually ever pose him or anything, but the other issue I have is with his feet. They don't, like, go like this, like you would think. No, they actually kind of angle to form a flat plane. That limits his posability significantly. I mean, you can get some poses out of him, but because of the small surface area on the bottom of his feet and the fact that he is top-heavy and the fact that his head doesn't move at all side to... Uh, it can move side to side. Huh. Uh, you can get some poses, but not many good ones. And I'll be honest, I just... Ugh, he just... He just creeps the hell out of me. I mean, you can get some decent poses, but not many. If I move him, he's going to fall over. I mean, if I just tap him... Now, oh, there we go. He's going to fall the heck over. So, what are the positives on this guy? Very, very accurate beast mode. He gets that insect look in both modes down pat. I love his color scheme. The purple and the brown with the red highlights. Very, very nice. Negatives. Not very poseable. His attack mode is kind of disgusting. And he's overly top-heavy. Does he belong in your collection? If you like bug transformers, yes. Yes, he does belong in your collection. Otherwise, I really can't recommend him. I got him at KB Toys back when I was in college for, like, five bucks. Is he worth five bucks? Yes, I will say he's worth five bucks, but he's not worth something like 30 or 40 bucks. If you can get him on the cheap, yeah, he's worth it for being on the cheap. But if he, but uh, as a, uh, as a, like, a big purchase, like 30, 40, no, just don't bother with that price, but you know what? He's not a bad figure. He just, ugh, he just gives me the heebie-jeebies.